Hey guys, this is Shadow Knight Paladin and welcome back to my channel. So today it's another digital piece and this is actually one of my more favorite pieces of content. Although um, it's a little bit boring I guess when you watch it but we are doing a sort of character outfit design for this particular character. He is an original character that is one of my more recent characters of sort. Um, I've had him maybe for uh, let's see, maybe five years now, and he's one of the latest ones that I have. So, his name is Kin Arena, and he is a. Uh, do you remember his story? Yeah, his story was that he's a dragon, but he has. I guess he's half blood elf, or I don't know. I'm, I might change of his story. Because his original story when I first thought up of him was that he was a half-blood elf and dragon. But in my more recent versions of him, I was thinking that maybe he is a full-fledged dragon. It's just that the dragons have an ability to shift their form into something more humanoid. And the form that they choose to shift into the most is that of an elf. Uh, with the premise being that um, the elves have the closest relations to dragons in the world that I thought up for them. So maybe I'll just keep it to that. He's a dragon that pretty much prefers being in an elf form. <laughs> Hence the pointed ears and stuff like that. So we are just actually working on his clothes today. Um, like what I did with my other character designing session, I do have drawing the body footage uh, though I won't really set just yet since that took a long time and it will really extend the video even for this video we are just working on his uh, the first layer of his clothes since man it took such a long time so I'm doing a couple of things like right now I'm fixing the body a little bit because the foot is a little weird and among other things so I'm also implementing a new technique with this, uh, namely called, wait, what's that called? <laughs> a layer mask, I think. Um, I forgot what it's called. Um, basically, uh, you can hide certain parts of your layer with this mask, but you don't actually erase it. So, for example, I can draw um, like an edge of the coat. But if it's hidden under some part of the body, I can just like sort of mask it away. It will still be there, so the image is still full. It's just hidden. And also because I haven't really drawn... Or, yeah, actually that's correct, huh? I haven't really drawn in a while since I did... Or before I did this, rather. So I've been using some new techniques. And for some reason, I've been wanting to play around with some other waste how to color I think um, the last night I drew was the chase uh, drawing and I've been applying the techniques that I learned there to this guy so as you can see I've been putting a little bit more attention to the shadows and the highlights and all of that stuff so this is gonna be a little bit longer it's 13 minutes and it's you know my usual videos are like 10 minutes so I would suggest you know get some tea or coffee or if you're drawing you can do that as well have me in the background uh, for the most part i might be playing music instead but you know just have something here we'll see if i can think of think of anything i can talk about while we're doing this so yeah so yes kin arena is actually one of the characters that i used for uh group role plays in deep end art uh i remember making him because i was really in love with the Vocaloid Kaito. And honestly, I still really do love Kaito. And this character is like... Um, how do I put this? Like, I realized I didn't have a blue-haired character yet. Or I do, but I don't really use him. But this particular character, his style, his outfit, back then was very much inspired by Kaito. And by that, I mean I was inspired by like, the, the coat and the color scheme, I guess. But really... Like his color scheme is really way different from Kaito in the end. Like I went with the yellow and blue 
uh, color scheme with kin, well characters like white and blue, something like that. <laughs> so I did draw kin in 2015, I believe, and back then I really hadn't applied this particular style of character design. So if you don't know what I do, is I basically have several layers for the clothes. So for Kin, he has like three layers, I think. So we have the base layer, which is the body. So you can think of it as something like a dress-up doll. So we have the body base, and then I would color that in, complete the body and all of that. So underwear included, of course. I didn't used to add, add underwear, but eh, might as well. Uh, makes it less awkward when I live stream. So what I used to do is like that. I had the body as the base, so I can use that base as much as I want. So if I think up of different outfits for a kid in the future, I can just like take this body and draw over it. So what I do is I add layers. So for example, this is the first layer of clothing, which is what we'll see right now. Um, that usually consists of like the shirt, the pants, and the shoes, and some accessories that wouldn't really be shown. Um, fully if I put it in other layers. So with Kin, we have a belt and some belt light straps on his leg as well. And then over this is whatever other clothes they're wearing. So usually they do have a coat. Most of my characters have like a coat or something else on top. So with Kin, he'll have his main outfit which is this really long cloak. And then on the third layer, he'll have a glove and a scarf, I think. So usually the third layer is like the additional accessories that they layer over, but it really depends on the character. So like with um, Saiyan, which is the character I did, like the fire mage descent I did, he had like an undershirt and then the pants and shoes in the first layer. And then the second layer, he had a belt and like his uniform top. And then the third layer was his like cloak. So I, I customized the layering depending on the character. And what's fun about this is that you can remove the layers. So, though it doesn't always work out in the sense that it's not really a layer per item of clothing. Which is honestly a bit of a hassle. But it might be fun in the future if I do that. Because uh, right now it's like one layer is like the one set of clothing. So what would happen sometimes is that, is that if I remove the base, the first layer, it's just like the cloak and he's naked underneath. <laughs> so I actually should rethink my layering system because I didn't want it to, I didn't want it to be over complicated. That's why I made it like this simple three layer step. But it might make more sense if I um, do it per item of clothing. Though that would be difficult in the sense that. My characters usually use boots, so like the cloth would billow other around the boots. So if I make it per item of clothing, it would mean I need to mask more stuff. And nah, never mind. I won't do that. It's a bit of a hassle. <laughs> so I really do love how his shirt turned out. Like it's more detailed than usual. Because I think I mentioned in Chase the the video I did for Chase. That in the past I used to line even how the shadows and the folds of the clothes would turn out. Now I did that as minimal as possible. Only like the more, you know, where it makes sense. For example, near his waist where it would start folding against his pants. But I left it more or less free. So it's really interesting. It looks a little bit more realistic. And I really do like how it turned out. Uh, I worked on it quite a bit because I was still trying to figure out how to deal with cloth <laughs> so yeah yeah but I really do like how it turned out I don't know if I'll be able to replicate it but I do trust myself that I might be able to do it <clears throat> so that's funny because Kin's original design was this tan cloak uh, rather tan jacket coat thing and then he had like what a black crop top i think i'll just put a screenshot in here if i can find the original drawing but he was wearing like a crop 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 top crop top there that showed up his abs and then he was wearing some i think like blue grayish pants and then boots 
and I kept that design for the longest time. And then I, I decided to do a redesign of him some time ago, still within for that certain RP group on DeviantArt. It was called Source of Chaos, if anyone played there, hi. <laughs> right. So I did the redesign and then for 2015, the, the story for that RP group finished. So I realized I was neglecting Kin as a character. So I decided to do a complete or an almost complete redesign of him. So I switched his color scheme. So his cloak, his coat rather, became the one that says blue and black. And I made it more balanced, more mature, less inconvenient, I guess. I noticed that a bit in my designs. Like I draw something really overly colorful, overly, um, you know, not matching and like crazy in my younger years. And then I'd retake my characters and then redesign them to make it more convenient or it would make more sense. So I would remove elements that were like, you know, like you're, you're a lancer, you're a fighter. Why are you exposing your midrib or something like that? Midriff. <laughs> what are words? I keep meh. What are words? <laughs> so yeah, I've been. That was my goal actually for the redesign series. Like, if take the characters that I've drew before and revamp their outfits to be more detailed or to fit their personality a bit more, or to actually make some sense in it. So I really do love how Ken turned out. It's a bit similar to the 2015 design. It's just that I made a couple more details and actually plotted out how the layers work out under the coat and yeah yeah i really do like how it turned out on character designing as of the characters that i've released so far i guess kin's outfit is one of my more favorites right now i like how serials serials turned out but kin's is really nice and clean cut and modern and like mm, i love it so Oh, we, I managed to talk for 13 minutes. Cool. Um, for the next video that I'll be releasing as a bonus video, maybe on Wednesday or Tuesday, um, will be the part 2 for his designs. I don't really want a huge tam time gap between the two designs. So I'll be posting that Tuesday, Wednesday maybe. And then I'll be posting another chat video on Saturday. So stay tuned in for that. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, please wait for the second part of this video. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and DeviantArt. Like or subscribe this video so that you know you don't miss that second character design. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you around.